Clerks in Solaris, my most hated job in the game, providing a lackluster amount of trade value and amenities. My constant advice is to get rid of as many of those jobs as you can, as it's usually a hindrance to your empire. But what if your empire consisted only of clerks? Of course, on this channel, we take things to the extreme, so in this video on all my planets, I must only have clerks employed literally nothing else. Will this implode in my face? It probably will. Or can I somehow thrive in this galaxy as I have somewhat of a plan? There's only one way to find out and that's to play with the white collar administrators. We'll be running through why I've chosen everything of this build while we play on my standard settings that you can pause to check out. So first things first is to fix our planet. No executives, no artisans, no enforcers, no managers, no turgulists, no researchers, no farmers, no miners, no technicians. Only clerks shall survive. We're also going to disable our buildings, not the commercial zone, just because they have an upkeep of two energy, and that's just from the building. We are not going to get rid of the districts yet because they give housing. Although they have an upkeep, the housing is quite important to keep our pop growth going, and we could run out of housing. Now, before we click play, we need to give our clerk species a better living standard, and that is social welfare. This means that all pops have plus 10% happiness, instead of just rulers and specialists, as well as giving unemployed pops normal happiness and producing unity. The only issue is the consumer good upkeep will be a lot more, but this is completely worth it. We have a lot of unemployed workers. The clerks will have thrifty, of course, for trade value, rapid breeders so we can keep breeding more of them, and charismatic so we get more amenities. These two traits, thrifty and charismatic, buff the only thing clerks give, so we may as well. Then we have non-adaptive and unruly because we needed two minus twos, and those are the only ones, I think. They're the best ones for that anyway. We are going to struggle with research. We're going to get Hydro Base as soon as we can because we can produce things from our star bases as well as stations and in our branch offices. I needed some way to scale past uh, the initial pain early game and that is how we're going to do it. We did get lucky with the ruler trait, Space Miner. We get minus station output 10% and minus station build cost less, which will help a little bit. We've also got a brand loyalty for more unity, more edict fund, and free traders for more branch office value and trade value. These are the only really good ones that can actually help us. Maybe media conglomerate would be nice for the happiness, but we don't really struggle from that. Now, we are going to need minerals. We'll buy a few, but we won't know what the exact state of our economy until the next month ticks over like so. Yeah, but because we have that living condition, we still have 75% stability with that much unemployment. And remember, we do have prosperous unification, which gives us more happiness and more amenities and more resources from jobs. Maybe this origin wasn't the perfect one to go for, but it definitely helps build up as I don't think we get more output for trade value. But what we're going to do is buy food, balance it, and consumer goods while buying as many minerals as we can because we need to spam commercial zones. This is all we care about. We're doing commercial zones instead of city districts because we don't need the housing or building slots right Situate. now, but they give three clerks instead of one. We need to uh, start working Market our jobs problem. and we will be friendly with this contact. We have, of course, Fanatic Xenophile. We get 20% more trade value and we're pacifist. I don't play this much, but we get more stability, less at bias size from pops, and I'm hoping people like us more. We are going to suck, the science-wise, military-wise, and um, we're going to need to rely on people being nice to us. We are going mercantile because it's the best for trade, and this will be crucial because we need adaptive economic policy so we can start getting consumer goods or unity from our trade. We can build our first commercial zone, and that will keep buffing our empire so much. We just have wasted pops right now, and we can go adaptive economic policies. Now, because we're going to fix our unemployment issues, we're going to go marketplace of ideas for the unity as our unity income will basically be zero if we don't do that actually it'll be negative i've tried it the only issue with that is our economy is going to burn a little bit we're gonna have to sell alloys until we can get more commercial zones but it's fine we can go trickle up economics clerks produce one additional trade value C districts also provide an additional clerk job. That's going to help us a lot. We go from 73 trade to 93, and they're not even filling up the jobs. Fill it up. There we go, 129. And we're going to get more commercial zones. It's going to be fine. The start is rough, but it's not too bad. Somehow, we can stop selling alloys now and start buying more minerals hopefully and we've got a nice choke point actually. This is this is nice. This is good. Everything's fine. I hate clerks. Please help me. I'm being held gunpoint by clerks. I actually love clicks. It's, um, it's, yep. 
Because Cloakus is so good, we can get trade value plus 10%, which means we get even more trades. These cloaks provide us administration. Yes. Let's build another planet so we can get another office. Oh, look at this potential office space. Here, okay, we've got the commercial zone slots filled up with the empty building slots. Then we can start replacing the other buildings with commercial zones. Market fee is next because minus 10% is great which because we're buying a lot anyway and we found our other guaranteed habitable so we want to grab that as soon as we can we will need as many planets as we can because we need ultimate trade now this run has come from my discord because i constantly go on about how bad clicks really are this build was also kind of brainstormed in there so if you want to be part of the videos help me come up with ideas help me with builds join the discord people are constantly looking to play games as well if you want to try out multiplayer they do a lot of PvE, so check it out. It's in the description. So we have finished Mercantile now. We do get merchant jobs, but we're not allowed to use them. So I need to get rid of them as soon as they appear. For Ascension perks, we're going to go One Vision. This is kind of a pseudo Unity build, but the pop amenity usage and monthly Unity increase is great. Executive Vigor doesn't matter because there's no good edicts. And I just realized I should have had Peace Festivals on for more happiness. <laughs> Oops. So now our economy is fixing. We can buy the maximum alloys just about. Not really. We need alloys. We need alloys and consumer goods and we need to actually build a colony ship. And we do need to try and get a federation as soon as we can. Whether that's with our own vassal that we make or with a random empire. As the federation gives us access to the ultimate trade policy which combines consumer benefits and marketplace of ideas. And because of this challenge and not many of the traditions make sense. I'm actually going to go down expansion so we can get more pops and then we will dip into diplomacy when we find someone so that we can uh, make a federation. Science is going to be a huge issue for us. So we're going to want to try and build research stations as quickly as we can. It's our only income except for the base that you start with. You start with base 10. Science is not great. And I forgot to get rid of the merchants. Don't hurt me. I'm sorry. It kind of hurts me more because now I have four unemployed rulers. New colony started with one additional pop. It'll be great once we can actually make a colony ship. Our first tech is done. We're going to go coil guns because it unlocks auto cannons and maybe we can vassalize people. Who knows? Completed. Don't think we'll ever get to that point. You got to play to win or not die, at least is in my case. So now that we filled everything with the ultimate building, the best building, the commercial zones, we can uh, start to extend our city districts and then build a commercial zone in that building spot in terms of governor there's not really a governor that helps with trade we could go adaptable to more lead again as the skill level effects are decent but we don't get the resources from job buff i don't think we do you can correct me in the comments but the best thing is stability does affect trade <laughs> As you can see, we're getting plus 24% ability and all we're doing is spamming amenities. So we're going to get such high stability. All part of the plan. Now we've got pop growth speed. Very nice. And we shall expand. I'm actually going to get another science ship so we can find people. I really need to get the mega corp aspect of this Future build going as soon as we can. Complete. Because that's how we're going to get our science, our alloys, our actual resources. Research They're for trading, of course. We don't get research from jobs. So that tech's actually bad. I just realized. We do have Hydra Bay soon. That's going Research to be huge. Time. More unity or more pop growth speed. That's hard. I'm going to go for pop growth speed because it's so early on in the game. And we're going to start spamming Hydra Bays. I realize I should have colonized a planet as well. We have the planet Steve. These names come from our patrons, as you all know, such as our fleet, Parakeet's fleet. We got EP Fios Pride, Meg's Prime, Eminent Domain. Patrons start from a pound and you can submit different names depending on the tier that you patron at. It greatly helps the channel and I much appreciate it. Now we're going to go Diplomacy so that we can form federations. We're currently on the search for either a planet that we can't inhabit that is like blocked off or another empire. That's our aim. Okay, we've almost actually filled out everything. These workers take a while to demote, but they're That's just scary. producing us unity. And I have found pirates. Then no regrets at one. I mean, it's not too bad. Let's just hope the Khan doesn't spawn. It is set to mid-game 2250. We're not gonna, we're, we'll probably will die. The Valor. And we found an empire. Please be friendly. Starlight, please. And friendly communications. And another planet. Oh, that's annoying. They're probably going to get that first. And just for a bit of efficiency, we can build a colony ship for the next planet before it's even constructed, as you can see. And we've also found the fallen empire is blocking my screen. A spiritualist. Well, 
We're friendly. Where did we find them? Oh, here. Hey, and we can now realized. form federations. This tundra world might be a good place to do it if we can actually get there. Or's compass as well. We can gamble. Yay. And I just realized we don't actually consume any minerals. So once we've got a load of our buildings up and running, it's not going to go down that number. Because it's just base. We consume no minerals. Go and settle. We have the Gaia world. We're not going to take it because it's, uh, they like it. They like it a lot. Look at it. Oh, and we have our colony. Get rid of the specialists. You shall be clerked. It's important we build star bases above our planets to collect trade. This one is getting collected because we have a trade hub, but we will eventually get rid of it. Or a shipyard. And we can get food from it. We do like food because we can sell it. We have done it. Unemployment is no more. 38 clicks. Oh, it's beautiful. And we can actually get rid of uh, some of this. It's giving us upkeep and employ these colonists. It's great not having to know what I'm going to make the planet into because I can just build clicks. The ultimate job. The merchant okay, thing is very complete. annoying. I need to remember to instantly get rid of it so I don't have to wait for them to demote like, like this. Ah, uh, they still do. That's annoying. But once I build more, it won't give them because I set it to zero. That's huge. We got a rare crystal. Rare resources are going to be impossible to get if I don't get them as a mining station. <laughs> uh, not that we even need them. So they're good to sell. We don't even need them. <laughs> there we go. No districts exist. Only city district. Odd factory worker jobs. Oh, it just literally disappeared. Zero. Okay. I should probably favorite clerks too, because they're my favorite job. I love them so much. Yes. Great. Oh no, there's another empire. I really hope they don't take this planet. I've wanted to make this ocean world my vassal, release them, invite them, okay, and then we can contact. get some good stuff. We found the eco warriors. Hello. We are best friends. We are now best friends. We are best friends. Take all my improve envoys. Let's have embassies. Let's have commercial packs. We are friends. Yes. 48 trade. Let me establish a branch of it. Let me finally get some tech. Oh, it's beautiful. Diplomacy is also now done. Oh, I should have done that first so we could get universal transactions, but it's fine. They no longer cost influence for commercial packs, which is great. No, it's primitive oh no i don't think i can invade them to then release unless i do active enlightenment free fdl enlightenment allowed if a pacifist can invade them uh that's that's weird so yeah we need to skip a system so that they're their own sector so we can make the sector and release them that's the plan also i should set these two trade worlds because we can get a nice or oh, that urban world sorry Get 20% more trade value. Look at that. Let's see if they've met anyone, actually. Oh, a research agreement would be so good, actually. <laughs> That's going to help us. The research agreement will give us more speed if they've researched it. So as you can see here, they've researched this tech. So we're getting plus 25% research to it. It's, uh, it's something. You can't stack them, though. So there's not much point in getting more than one. Yeah, we're going to build this outpost here. I hope we can land. It's only within our borders. But I think we will be able to. I'm literally going to invade them, release them. <laughs> <laughs> and then invite them to my federation. No, we have to toggle our first contact. Oh, no, because if we... You need an observation post first, but they're not neutral. No! Free FDL. You have to be aggressive and we can't because we're pacifists and xenophile. Ah, maybe our eco-warrior friends want to federate with us if they like us a bit more. Or we could even get a vassal over here. So we'll just expand that way. It's not all lost. Just don't settle on the uh, Gaia world. That's all. The only thing that I can see that might be useful is either discovery purely or 10% research speed or harmony so we can get more stability, less crime because we can't work anti-crime jobs, pop upkeep and we get planetary ascension effects, which we're going to do later on probably if we survive. So let's go harmony. We're also going to stay on social welfare as it gives 0.33 trade value per pop, whereas decent conditions gives 0.2. We're going to want utopian abundance if we can ever get chemical bliss tech because that gives 0.5 and our job output doesn't matter these aren't shown in the game but they're on the wiki and it's it's weird why it doesn't do it in the game there we go at least we can get pre-ftl tech i suppose it might be useful and we get two society research we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna put it in collect insights we get four non-aggression pack yes can we please be friends i want to make a federation with you my friend independence guaranteed yes we don't need a defensive back then and you know what well Establish branch offices on all their stuff as well. Even though we can't build a building yet, stop That's someone silly. else doing it. Off-world trading companies. We might actually use this. It produces two trade value for each trade hub. In 68 months, we might get it. Who knows? And we can get another, another planet. Union of Bears, a pacifist. Yes. 
Yes, we are friends as well. Hello, friend. Hello, hello. Embassies. Incoming. More unity. Yes. I don't want to get too many more non-aggression packs. I'm sorry. The, um, they use influence and I need it. influence. But we will get a commercial pack. The Federation's only minus 37. You know what? Instead of vassalizing the galaxy, why don't we try and federate them? How much for your favors, kind sir? Wait, I could just trade favors for favors. What am I doing? Why am I using this? And we can just take their alloys, maybe. <laughs> We're a trade empire. This makes total sense for us to do. And this will probably bite me in the butt anyway. There we go. That seems like a fair deal. Yeah, and the Mystery Incorporated Xenophile. Would you like trade? Can Where are you? Incorporate. Hello. Friends. My friends. Independence guaranteed as well. And the bears would like... Oh, no. We still need more favors. How much should we need? Three more favors. I can't do maths. I only have two left. Did it bite me in the butt already? We can buy our way into their heart, though. They denied it. What do you mean? There you go. Here's some more energy. Okay. All right. It's important we try and get branch offices on at least their capitals as they're way bigger. I got rid of all my energy. There we go. Which also means we can get these buildings down like science and commercial forms are really good. More trade value. Union of Bears accepted, which means the Great Clerk Federation now formed trade league which means our consumer goods will go to the moon a great day for this galaxy and an artisan droop discovered from that his steedy is found to the great reef the hive star empire it truly is a great time we can also become a patreon which you guys do can do to me as well <laughs> funny which gives us more unity per month and we can stop buying consumer goods and sell we are now getting Trade League, which is the unity and consumer goods combined. And let's try and level up our federation, shall we? I would like to get Mystery Incorporated in, in on this. The Eco Warriors are... They are Xenophile, but they have no matching ethics to Union of Bears. To be fair, neither do Mystery Incorporated. And are they both egalitarian? Now I can offer association status. I may as well offer it to everyone that I can. And try and establish all the embassies, because we get free unity from that. First EP30 diplomatic game ever. And I would say it's going pretty well. Look at our resources. The only thing that sucks is our science. That's literally the only bad thing about this, this build. You know, not too bad. We also get more branch offices, which means more science. It's only 18 a building. Research <laughs> it's not great. These hives suck for us because we can't really get trade with them. Hopefully they just all kill themselves in a nice way. Maybe we try and get a federation that kills all the hives. That would be nice. Let's watch and learn the new world order. We might get some insights. Steve's entourage, a devouring swarm. Why there's so many swarms? <laughs> there's so many. At least they're all next to each other. A nice little tip you can do to check if you've got all the branch offices in an empire is if you click on one of your branch offices and click tab, it tabs through that empire. So if we go to Mystery Incorporated, we can see we have two that don't. We may as well establish there. I'm scared there's going to be a Mega Corp, as that's what usually happens. I think I'm going to start making empty Corvettes so that we can get some influence from our power projection. Cheaper and why not? Okay. Malta Republic. An egalitarian fanatic xenophile. You, my friend. You are my friend. Yes. They're only minus 80 to be joined joining the federation that's huge association is minus 24 let's grab some favors from them then shall we 24 means we need five favors there we go my only worry is that they're going to just die to all of the hives but hey that sounds like a dumb problem and their doomsday <laughs> no please tell me they have a planet they do oh they're going to be so bad mm. i mean the planet's got a while till it blows up i'm going to try and benefit from it as much as i can i usually wouldn't do that but um i need science so we're up to 100 we're getting that plus five stability now which means we get a lot of trade oh, we'd get a lot more if we could work merchants the better clerks but um, we're not allowed to do that. Who said that? Me. That's that's who said it. I make the rules. We have another planet up and running. Get rid of these colonists. Disgusting. Yeah, influence is the uh the big deal right now. Okay. The task manager, another just stole. Oh yeah, I should probably offer association stars. Which means their trust goes up with us and with the Federation yeah. so that we can eventually invite them to Federation. It's my 78. Steve's entourage is killing them. Oh, well, I hope you can win, my friend. No. <laughs> Piracy. My biggest nemesis. All right. Well, we actually have to make a fleet. Not a good fleet. It's a fleet. It's my fleet. Oh, the galactic community. Yes. Because it's fanatic spiritualists, we can order them, which is always nice. I just hope we roll auto cannons soon. Because then I can actually maybe scare off people from killing me or vassalize people. Get science that way oh no they're dying and who are they killing mystery incorporated are killing someone and 
these steedies fighting okay well they're already trying to kill a hive for me this seems like an absolute win oh the comm phone i hope they're killing the comm phone I really hope they are. Confound are pompous purists. They make me sad. They're not. They're killing a xenophobe fanatic spiritualist. I mean, not awful. The galactic community is here. And I need to pay tribute here. Yeah, have some food. All right. We need to actually pay attention. Oh, it's cost influencer. But this buzzword standardization would be huge. Defend Starnis. Oh, you are a xenophobe fanatic pacifist. So, um, we like you. Let's be Income friends. I've not seen one Megacorp this entire game, which is the first time I've ever played Megacorp. That there's been no megacorp so far there are megacorps that can spawn oh influence yes the culture enclave are great for giving events that give influence surveyed. that's why i really wanted to find them and also we can go kill these pirates once we've upgraded and we gain favors i forgot about that because we have the diplomacy yeah this one gives us one percent chance of getting a favor pop demotion time minus 75 percent yes empire size from pops less as well which means if Research we can go below 100 as much as we can, tech costs will be lower. Oh, we got a um, an observation. Available envoys plus 0.5 and max district plus 1. That's good. That means we can get more clicks. Oh, the merchant job. Damn it. So the ancient caretakers have detected a fault in our empire. Maybe it's the fact we are all clicks. We're going to let them do it or less happiness it's fine we will keep everyone happy Which we are the ultimate pacifists except for when it comes to pirates who are sapping our trade kill them engaged. kill them now new world order we get more insight pirate station raided we get stuff more encounters there's too much going on i just want all the cannons oh we'll get star holds though that means we can get um an extra building module which means we can do more trade stuff okay there we go we have done it another planet we can inhabit we don't have alloys you know what? I'm not going to buy monthly. We'll just bulk by when we need. Why not? And also a little tip for you. I don't want to build a star base here, but I don't want pirates. What you can do is build defensive platforms on normal star bases, which have pirate suppression. They want to declare a war on the Hive Star Empire. They're equivalent to me and the Union of Bears is superior. We're going to let this happen. Yeah, why not? Get rid of the hive. If you can deal with them, you do that. Mystery Incorporate also won a war. This is going too well. Like, actually going too well. What is happening? I'm going to propose buzzword so that we can uh, try and uh, get more trade. We can actually start building buildings on their smaller planets now. Very nice. Need to keep an eye out for 10 pop stuff because they can get us some decent rewards. How are you doing? Are you still at war with Steve? Yeah, that's not good. And the bears are going in. Good. The Dancing Plague gives us more happiness and amenities. I may as well. Who's insulting us, Steve? We need to have a planet named after you. Why are you doing this to us? Rude. More science. <laughs> We're on 120. We're doing it. You know what? We can actually put educational campaign on for leader experience gain and less pop consumer goods upkeep. We may as well use our energy. I've never clicked on this before. But apparently, we're losing stuff because of piracy. I don't understand. It says max piracy, nine, but the effects are zero. Okay, let's just build those defensive platforms and see what happens. Okay, now 100% is reaching its destination. But because trade value is greater than piracy suppression, Research. trade value is 53. Complete. It's growing to its maximum value. <laughs> <laughs> don't know what that means we can always go to a patrol our fleet this has 200 piracy suppression never tradition i genuinely don't know what to go i do want to go cybernetics because we can get more trade value but um are we ever going to get that tech integrated cybernetics i don't think so we are up to almost 200 science and it's constantly expanding i'm building this building everywhere i can i could go for more research speed I could go for more star bases, even less claim cost, because I have a lot more to expand into. I think I'm going to go research speed to try and help myself catch up with tech. Oh, I'm not even last in the galactic community. Not doing too bad. Who's insulting me now? The hive star. Well, yes, I'm at war with you, but like, cry about it. I'm going to go and help. Complete. Union of birds, I guess. Because they insulted me. Let's go kill them. <laughs> and we can't invite anyone to our federation while we're at war. Oh, no. I've had executives working here because I upgraded the thing. Ah, oh, you stupid game. I guess we go supremacy now. I know I'm pacifist, but Such building nice. ships is a key part to diplomatic weight and not dying. Chemical bliss. Oh, <gasps> yes. That means we can get more That's trade scaling. value per pot. That's Truly scaling. beautiful. That's Are they scaling. winning? You can kill them. Go kill them, please. Union of Bears, you are 
dreadful. Now, Federation leveled up though, which means we get more trade value, more ship speed in Federation space, and an extra envoy. Very nice. Another planet as well to increase our trade. To the moon. Oh no. The Steve's entourage is a, a threat. Okay, we've got this system. We are not going to inhabit pristine jewel we'll leave it there yeah we will inhabit the other planet okay it looks like they're following me which is great what even is it it's a humiliation war why why maybe i should have read that we still haven't gotten war cannons but we can go powered exoskeletons which we need for the thing that we're going for the ascension path and we can get an extra envoy because we already had a 0.5 cost. Very nice. The power of envoys. And they're building around me. Oh, you are annoying. You are very annoying. They're taking that tomb world. At least it's just the tomb world. Okay, our research isn't actually even too bad anymore. All things considered. I got bloody pirates. Scaling does my star base win though? It That's does. Scaling. The defensive platforms. Oh, and we finally pieced out of this wall. Don't know what we got from that. But there we go. Oh, they're in a war. But Mystery Incorporated is not. We only need five favors to actually be able to invite them, which we can get easily. The worst thing is we haven't found the creator order because they would be insane to uh, get a bit more research speed. Oh, they're fighting the Steve's entourage. Please win, Eagle Warriors. Please win. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Mystery Incorporated want to just be my vassal. You, They're not even um well i'm going to agree yeah and now we can buy fleets yes oh this game and we can do the shroud thing get more amenities sure what is our fate let's get more amenities on our capital 100 percent stability is what i want and i forgot change our rights to chemical bliss we go from 640 on our capital to 678 yes. i need to change this uh vassal into a scalarium as soon as i can and we're gonna build satellite campus of course we are in almost 300 tech it's not awful like everything is decent except for research and alloys which is the most important resources in the game but apart from that we're thriving oh <gasps> the eco warriors have taken steven's home which is the capital i think <laughs> yeah step getting the devouring swarm i'm gonna break my research agreement with the warriors because my vassal actually i can get more with them i may as well okay i just realized i will need rare resources i remember saying i didn't earlier the fourth ships yeah this is the only negative Upscaling but this build's complete. actually been quite fun to play i do have moats and rare crystals Stop. we're up to 334 science and now we can start getting off-world trading companies because i thought the hydro bay was better but this just is gonna increase our unity Upscaling and complete. consumer goods and energy Good with just a bit more trade that trade hubs will now also produce trade 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 is trade thieves dying yes the eco warriors are my best friends all game they have been too bad they won't join our federation steve's entourage is dead yay buzzword standardization is finally about to pass a little bit more trade value but more weight from economy which is always nice i accidentally spawned some amoebas i still haven't had auto cannon how it possibly the most important thing i do and they don't accept it ah uh, no i want you to be scalarian please oh actually i can change some stuff hold up all i need is alloys and science and that's they can give me oh yes we'll get 45 percent advanced resources which is 24 alloys and 70 consumer goods i don't care about the consumer goods and then 30 percent science it's a lot for us we are however going to tank some influence because of that but it's fine we actually have it <laughs> <laughs> alloy we have alloys we have alloys our star bases are now also producing 14 trade not a lot to be honest but it's it's something we can get more happiness for the special project yes we are 100 yet 95 i don't have the stability building so i could special get it to 100 premise is finished i still cannot go flesh is weak so we're just gonna go defender of the galaxy 200 opinion is nothing to turn away at it's genuinely quite a lot because we have scooby doos now we need to set them to chemical bliss we should probably just set default rights to chemical bliss everyone can be happy no jobs are worked chemical bliss does give you negative 60 percent job output but because they're all trade doesn't count they'll so take that well i've gone iron thrusters oh this game i not getting Absolutely any good complete. military texts this is what my Corvette looks like 45 years in the game. And I don't even have destroyers actually as well. It's fine. We do now have 560 free science. And we've got a modifier 10% monthly research. Let's go. We get none of that. 
gosh, please. Give me the damn tech. I'll take Railgun and Freeze. Just give me the tech. We now have our Scalarium. We get more research, more output. If we have a Hyper Relay. More importantly, we just get their research. Insult benefit. Yes, we can insult people. My favorite. Galactic Council. We could sneak on there with envoys. Garden Angels at. Diplomatic weight from fleet power less. Yes. I do not get much. If we do just, you know, put everything into the community. Where does that get us? Pretty much second. Oh my gosh. How have I not got all cannons? Ow. Hey. We will just keep buying Corvettes here and then just upgrading them. It's cheaper. Plus, we can get research speed for engineering when we have rust. <laughs> we don't get auto cannons. We get cruisers. <sighs> Game. Lose. I just realized I've had my transports parked outside this primitive Absolutely. for so long. Where did my observation post go? What? They just fully it memed my observation me. post. Oh my gosh. Still no auto cannons. <laughs> have I done something wrong? Just in general? Or have I already got them? No. Okay, now we can get that 15% research speed on engineering. Hopefully we can get auto cannons quicker then. Maybe. We are second research in the community now. Because the uh, diplomatic weight from fleet strength was lowered. That's, well, I guess research is also a negative. <laughs> it's only economy. How? I should probably change my leader so I can roll it, but that I cannot be bothered, but I probably should. How is there no galactic market as well? This game is cursed. Actually cursed game. Let's see, if they like me more, can I get more science? I could if I had the influence. Expansion finished. I'm just rushing through. Do I still not? I still don't even have the tech. Flesh is weak either. Not getting the text I want today. Auto cannons. It's so late in the game. Everyone's vassalized or overwhelming. Yeah, literally everyone's a vassal. This is why I rush auto cannons in my games. And why I have to vassalize people or like rush them. Everyone's a vassal or has a vassal. It's it's ridiculous. I hope they fix it. Let's see how much fleet power I get if I just have auto cannons. Shall we? It can be 9.8. <laughs> it's 20k. <laughs> Doesn't even cost that Research many alloys, do Yep, 30k. I went from 10k to 30k. And now, can I do make stuff? stuff? I could if I was better. Wait, does this even get anything from being the capital? I don't think it does. The resources from job does not affect it. That's annoying. Ooh, we can get more trade hubs. Oh, hell, my economy. Droids before integrated cybernetics as well. Oh, <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I think my ally is losing because they're brain dead. So we should probably put a real fleet on well, and try and help them. When did I get a Gaia world? Oh, wait, because it's in that system, it must have terraformed itself and plus 20% pop growth speed. Well, we take that. Gaia already gives more happiness as well. Beautiful. I'm going to start putting auto on. So they start researching the smaller tech so I can be a little bit stronger. So when I want to vassalize Wargle, I have decent-ish tech that can help. Good thing I got rare crystals because disruptors use crystals. Okay, Steve's going to get ascended while I wait for this stupid tech to show up so I can synth ascend. Okay, I'm coming, Bears, because you are stupid and you suck what even is the war goal i'll humiliate again oh breathe breathe it's okay and we can offer them association stars if we can get the eagle warriors in they are Research big lens. they are strong what are they doing are they winning that they are okay they're not entirely useless then and we are on the galactic community so it's the starnish kind oh they are strong we're friends right yeah we're friends we go way back <laughs> Can we get more science? It just costs so much influence. What is this? What if I just get an extra holding for now? And then I build that influence holding. That's the pro strats. Ministry of Truth. Just to double check, if I ascend this, do we get more raid? Two, but that's because of stability. Yeah. It's better to ascend these planets because look, I will go up by four instead. Okay, so if I have some hefty star bases, actually, oops. Probably wait, my ally. Competitive the tank. Station engaged. Or at least come in with me. Special project actualized. Oh, they've also engaged us. But we should annihilate them. Yep. That we did. And we peaced out. I lost so many ships fighting that war. Why did they do that? That was so pointless. Oh, the great clerk building. Not that we have the rare resources to support it. If we ever get orbital rings, we can build the that building. The buff up to the amenities. Speaking of, welcome to the ultimate clerk planet. Is 96 stability, 63 out of 77 clicks working. That is literally as many as we can get on this planet. Crazy. Oh yeah, we can also finally go flesh as wheat, which means we can Absolutely. finally get cybernetics. And then we can get the good trade that gives more Special trade value. Project. And then we'll be laughing because all we are is trade value. Oh my gosh. They have so many, so many planets and they're colonizing a bunch more. I'll just jump in a few of them. Do I get habitat? 
<laughs> Just start spamming more clicks. Unlimited clicks. Cybernetics, finally. So I just checked and this video is um going on a little bit. So we're going to do the last few optimizations to get as much trade value as we can. The first thing I've been told about in my Discord is there's a consultant that you can hire from the enclaves that give you 10% more trade. And you can get this by getting more opinion. So if we just trade with them for 25 opinion end the trade for only minus five get the trade again end it again get the trade again now we can hire the consultant it only goes 500 energy and we now have a enclave trader for 10 percent trade value and their level five so in our starting sector with 861 401 349 trade as that's definitely the highest sector we have we can now get 904 918 actually, Research trade value, map. which is not too bad. We're also just going to scrap our trade star bases for anchorages to prepare for the crisis. That's right, if you guys are enjoying this video, I think we will do a second part where I try to take on the four times crisis that can spawn at 2300. You can also get a deep space black site, which will finally give us the 100 stability for research maximum trade activated. output. We found the creators so we can get more research. We are very far behind on tech, but... We are slowly catching up. And that can be aided by abusing that vassal, of course. We can take all that basic resource and more tech in a few months, which we'll just wait for to tick over. We are lacking two. Research there we go. So we're going to get a whopping 600 tech from our Scalarium, which is probably over double of what we actually produce. Yeah. And we can actually give us the galactic market when we get the influence. Is Didi's pledge secret fealty to us? We might be able to abuse that, but maybe not in this video. Bastards will be key though Special to project, actually killing the crisis. Actualize. And there we have it, the 100 stability plus 30% trade value. Beautiful. I think we can get another consultant with this new trade people. Yes, we can. And it's a good way of getting our rare resources because we cannot build them any other way. We'll put it on our second sector with more trade <laughs> this is just stupid and to get our economy up so we can be in a place to fight and maybe vassalize we're going to have to just do a few trades for alloys we're now cybernetic even more buffs we need to get that last trait for the ultimate trade pops and the only good civic really is public relations so we'll just grab that orbital rings will also help a bunch because we can buff our trade a little bit but there is the galactic markets tech that we can get that's tier four that gives us a better orbital ring building and we can use statecraft scientists to try and roll it we might not get that this game but it's something we can put out to buff our trade even more. It gives the orbital stock exchange that we can build in our orbital ring that gives 20% more trade value. Also, we are just going to get another vassal real quick. I am literally just using my auto cannon corvettes because they're so weak. And hopefully we just murder them. We do. We do have an event that gives us optimized logistical remodeling. It seems to be like a trade thing. So we're going to do that. Might Ships. give us more trade. Yeah, we should probably take on these with the auto cannons. But I'm going to hold back and wait for our cruiser corvettes to get here. We are building more. Check and our federation choice. fleet, of course. And we got it. Nice galactic markets. We just need the orbital ring now. Please give us orbital ring. Oh, wait, I already have orbital ring. Oh, I'm so stupid. And we do now have integrated autonomy, which means we can get trading algorithms, which gives us a further 25% from trade, which is very, very nice. We can apply that. Unlimited trade. In 18k, hopefully that's easy. Yeah, and we also got smoothest of ride which means we get 12% trade value. Is that empire-wide? Yes. Holy moly. The clerk species has been modified. Our <laughs> capital's going absolutely nutty now. 12,000 trade. Okay, a lot of our cruisers are here now. Let's go fight. Oh, they want to fight and they come one by one. They do have quite a lot of fleets. There we go. Another vassal will turn them into a Scalarium eventually as well. It's quite literally just keep growing and growing and growing. There's only two empires that are equivalent to me. Three, actually. This is uh, somehow working. Orbital Stock Exchange. 20% trade value. Yes. And then the Giga Mall also gives plus 5%. So we can literally put an orbital ring above all our buildings. Upgrade it to tier 3 and have 25% Locker, even a more trade. And it's at 1,300 already. 1,300 trade to 1,400. And it can Ships go up even more. So there's not much else to conquer. We could do some few vassal wars. But this video has gone on very long. The crisis is set to spawn at 2,300 at 4x. So if you wanted to see clerks only to take on the 4x crisis, let me know in the comments, like the video, and subscribe. This is a stupid 
stupid build that I don't know why it worked. I guess Vassal Spam is decent, but I didn't even get that many Vassals. I only had one that carried my science. But uh, our resources definitely benefit. The only negative was our influence. We are using so much of it and we still need more. If you did like this video, then you'll enjoy the time I played on Gigastructures for one of the first times. Look at now.